So why do people get upset whenever you talk about the rapture? Why is it, especially on YouTube, why are people losing their mind? We're going to talk about that in this video. If you're interested in that kind of thing, stick around for a little bit. Make sure and subscribe to this channel. Let me know where you're watching from. And then let me know your thoughts as well. Let me know if you're a pre-tribber, a mid-tribber, or a post-tribber. That would be actually fun to see on the comments. One of the things that I've noticed is you can talk about just about any subject on the planet. But the second you mention that the Lord can come any day people lose their minds they become unglued and I'm not talking about non-christians because non-christians they don't care they they don't they're watching other channels but it's the it's the Christians that believe in Jesus Christ that spend time going on to various channels and then making comments on there and saying no 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 what you're believing is wrong and then they'll quote something like Matthew 24 and the day of the Lord the day of Christ and then they'll leave and they'll go to another channel and do the same thing and they'll go to another watchman channel and that but they're afraid to create their own YouTube channel that talks about why and I've yet to see it I've yet to see a channel where they're just dedicated to their post tribulation rapture slash pre wrath point of view. I've yet to see a channel dedicated to that. I see lots of watchman channels. I see lots of people that are dedicated to a pre tribulation rapture, and I'm one of those people. But I don't see many channels, if any. And if there's a channel, let me know in the comments if you know of a channel where they're like, you know what, this is all we're going to talk about. We're just going to sit in the vehicle or we're going to sit in our office or our studio or whatever. And we're just talk going to talk about a post-tribulation rapture. You won't see it. Why? Because you can't defend it with scripture. You can't defend a post-tribulation rapture. Instead, what people do is, because they can't defend it, they come against people that believe in a pre-tribulation rapture. And then it looks like to those from the outside that are maybe brand new, are like, well, how come these guys are fighting? And it's not that we're fighting. It's we're trying to prepare people and let them know that, hey, any time the Lord could come. So prepare your hearts. Prepare your hearts. What does that mean, prepare your hearts? It means to get to know the creator of the universe just a little bit better today than you did yesterday. How do you do that? You study his word. You go to church. You attend fellowship meetings like Bible studies, home Bible studies. You hang out with other Christians. You edify each other until the Lord comes back. The opposite of that, if you're defending post-trib, is you go and buy a bunch of handguns and you buy a bunch of canned food, canned tuna fish, canned tomato soup, and you start digging a hole for yourself. Some people might say you're digging a grave, but you're digging a hole and you're trying to hide yourself in a den. And then when things get tough, you're going to say rocks fall on us. Hide us from the wrath of the Lamb of God. Because that's what you're doing. You're trying to hide yourself from God's wrath. Think about it for a second. If you're going into a bunker and you want to design the best bunkers in the world to protect you, what are you protecting yourself from? You're protecting yourself from Jacob's trouble. The Great Tribulation. What is happening during the Great Tribulation? It's God's wrath. Therefore, you're digging yourself a den. You're hiding in the den. 
so that you can hide from the wrath of God. There's no other way around it. So this is why they come against pre-tribbers, pre people that believe that Jesus Christ can come today and we are dependent on the Son of God to save us. We're not dependent on mankind. We're not dependent on weapons. We're not dependent on cans of tuna fish and digging a hole in the ground. We're not buying weapons and storing them, hiding them. We're not hiding our possessions in caves, in cracks in the caves, our trophies, all our souvenirs, in case they get stolen. We're not doing that stuff. Instead, what we're doing is we're edifying one another. We're building each other up. We're giving each other comfort and hope by saying, look, Jesus Christ can come one day and he's coming to save his body. He's coming to grab his church which is all those that believe in Jesus Christ that he is the son of God that he died on the cross that he rose again on the third day doesn't matter if you're Jew Gentile if you're free if you're in bonds it doesn't matter if you're Greek doesn't matter if you're Russian doesn't matter if you're Ukrainian whoever male female it doesn't matter Jesus Christ died for all, but you have to accept him. You have to believe that he is the son of God and you will be saved. And that's all I have for today. So if you got something out of it, feel free to subscribe to this channel. Remember, let me know where you're watching these videos from. I really appreciate it. And let me know if you're pre-tribber, mid-tribber, post-tribber. And uh, I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.